Nile is a startup. Um, it is backed by John Chambers. He's an industry legend in the networking business. And uh, Nile came basically out of stealth mode and they had their big announcement. Um, I did write about this as well. And from a high level, what I really like about Nile is that it's a completely grounds up design. It's microservices oriented. It's highly containerized, no surprise. There's AI functionality. They offer both a co-pilot and an autopilot feature. And what's really compelling from my perspective is they guarantee performance. And so that doesn't require an additional service level agreement. That's sort of baked into the overall solution. And they're also delivering security along with it as well. And that's no surprise, networking security is converging and um, they're focused on zero trust and have a very unique approach to that. So um, it's interesting, they are, they are new. Um, they, they have about, according to executives that I've spoken with, about 100 customers, they're, they're growing that quite quickly. They've seen a 300% year over year growth and they measure their success based on just millions of square feet that they're covering with their solution. And what's also nice, they can take completely all of the guesswork out of uh, the deployment and the ongoing management. They, they manage all of that, and so they make it a really simple um, you know, solution to, to deploy and, and consume. Uh, it is new, it is different. Um, a lot of other solutions from the more established vendors like Cisco and HPE, um, you know, there's some refactored architecture that, that kind of goes along with that. But, I really like kind of the modern approach, and I'm wondering, Matt, do you have any any thoughts around that? Have you been following them at all? I haven't, but I'm kind of curious. You know, it seems like everybody is moving toward this like as a service kind of approach to to the market with new services. Yeah. How big of a lift is it for you know? You think about giants like a HPE Aruba or a Cisco, right? Yeah. How easy is it for them to because the advantage of a of a Nile is you come out fresh, you have an architecture that is designed for as a service from the ground up, right? I think you mentioned it. You, there is no kind of going back and retrofitting or having to refactor um, your services. How easy is it for a Nile to diff, you mentioned differentiate to differentiate from a Cisco from an HPE or you know, can Cisco and HPE quickly respond to to an aisle, you know, through through what they have in their portfolio? Sure. I, you know, I think from the service level agreement perspective, they certainly could. So, you know, Cisco and, and, and Aruba, as an example, if they want to sort of meet comp, you know, with, with respect to that, um, they could certainly do that. Um, the economics of that might be difficult for them mm -hmm. um, to do that. I mean, certainly when you look at, at Cisco and what they're doing, um, leveraging uh, Meraki and the cloud native aspect of, uh, of the Meraki platform. And they're bringing a lot of that uh, cloud management capability into like the Catalyst portfolio as well. Yeah. They can certainly get there, um, but th there's some hangover. There's some legacy, you know, concerns that, that have to be dealt with there. And, and, you know, I'm not putting, you know, Cisco or, or Aruba down because they have great offerings, but it's, you know, I, I, I sort of like, you know, what Nile is doing because, they're entering a market that that's crowded, right? And there are a lot of existing solutions that are out there. I think the biggest lift for Nile will be to convince enterprises that the track record that some of the more established incumbents have. But, um, but that's a great that's a great point. Matt. I think there's an interesting play here too. For if you think about, you know, there are a lot of there are a lot of these we mentioned as a service, there are a lot of these kind of startups that call them cloud native, right? Born in the cloud that a new breed of, of, of company potential customer is really attracted to, right? There's not a lot of legacy. There is a, just let me get my offering at the best price. It's going to be not good enough, but it's going to be good. Even if they don't have the track record, I don't have the track record either. I can see them kind of breaking in, you know, in that not startup, but the, the more modern business and then kind of work in their way up market from there. Could be a lot of fun to watch. 